you know, when it rains, it pours. I had just gotten done making the Cyber Frog Wrecked Planet video, the unboxing video. I haven't even had a chance to open it up and read it. And we all know how long we've been waiting for this book. But the dog starts barking like crazy. So I go downstairs. I'm like, what are you barking about? And then I hear the deep, deep, the mailman. <sighs> okay, mail's here. Let's go get the mail. Let's go get the bills. I open up the door. I look. And there's a package in the mailbox. I'm like, okay. Miss Stippling bought something. Pull the package out. It says Pamper Chef. Okay, great. She's got some. But there's another package in there. I don't know. I pull it out. And I'm literally about ready to just toss her on the table. I'm like, let's just take a look at it. It's addressed to me. I got a package. But when you feel it, Okay, it's got a Gemini mailer inside of it. So I'm like, what the heck? And then I all of a sudden remember, not only did I get an email about my planet, but I had gotten an email from Critical Blast about Fiendish 2. So let's take a look here. Oh. We got some tape here. Now, of course, this Gemini mailer is in pristine condition. It is beautiful. Not a mar on it. Here, let's uh, take a look at this. Almost, well, we got a little crease here, but I mean, you really, not only did you get in the Gemini mailer, you got it in the bag, a nice bag. So, okay. So, okay, we got something going on here because I do seem to remember her making a remark about how there being a delay because there were stretch goals that were missing. So they had to quickly get them put back in. So I got my Fiendish sticker. Okay. And then, oh, I got, ooh, ooh. That's a sticker. Ooh, you know what we could put this one? We could put this on the hard hat. That, I think, is going to go in the hard hat. Fiendish, you know, Fiendish 2 is as good as I expect it to be. Fiendish goes on the art box. It goes on the art box, and it'll be going on right next to the Comps Comics sticker. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, let's see here. We've got Fiendish 2 right here. Fiendish 2, Electric Boogaloo. So, we got that, and then we got some goodies here. Let's see here. We've got a Dan Lawless print. Very, very nice. Dan, I will say, I am. you're getting much better. Um, now... Please, everybody, don't take this the wrong way. I I wasn't that impressed with his work in uh, Two Fists of Manly Tales. But the stuff that he's been put, like the like Tear in the Trenches, beautiful uh, uh, mini print. This, for Fiendish, another beautiful mini print. He's doing a... I, I don't know whether he had to knock some dust off after like not working in the comic book industry for quite a few years, but stuff's really impressing me. And then we have another mini print. Very nice. Very, uh, I like that. I'll have to look up and see who the mini print's from, but I do like that. Nice composition, nice, like adding that level of mystery to, and the whole purpose of it being the idea of uh, how this is a quest. So of course, quest being a journey, and that's what we're seeing here with the how they're how it was done. And okay, what else do we got here? Ooh, we got cards. 
Love, love the cards. And <clears throat> I will say, it's the one, one of the biggest things about crowdfunding I've really enjoy is getting these cards. Um, it really gives you that sense of getting something extra and how it makes having all these extra goodies as stretch goals, it makes you, the reader and the backer, you become a cheerleader for the creator and not just a cheerleader. You want, like specifically if they get to a next stretch goal, Okay, you want that campaign to get to that next level. Perfect example I'll give you guys is uh, how Graham Nolan and how Graham had at 175,000, uh, the stretch goal was a mini print of Monster Island. And if we get to 200,000, he's going to sign every single one of them. We're going to give him Carpal Tunnel having to sign every single one of those prints. But he's the eagle. I think he'll do okay. But still, the whole thing is that he is... I am now a cheerleader. I'm not just a cheerleader. I am a promoter for Ghost of Matakuma Key because I want that print and I want it signed. So I'm going to help promote it. I'm going to have it tagged in this video, even though... Uh, actually, no, she closed Fiendish 2, I think. So yeah, I'm going to have Ghost of Matakuma Key in the description of this video because I want you guys to go and get Ghost of Matakumba Key and back it. You'll be getting a great story. But on top of it, if we get to that 200,000, not only am I getting that print, you're getting that print and it's going to be signed. So let's make it happen, guys. But no. Okay. So, oh, wow. So here's one of the cards we get. Okay. It's Fiendish. It looks like it's a little mountain. It's it's a Nina animal companion. And on the back here, we have all of the stats. So it looks like you could almost like use this if you're doing a uh, a D and D game or maybe Pathfinder, most likely. Um, but yeah, and that's so you can actually, which like Andy's doing that with uh, Cordrath. So again, you have the stats, so you can do you can play it as a playable character. And then we have. Hal Tajia, Hal Tajia, uh, and Tiny Outsider. So, we have the Wraith Bomb. Oh, and he has different types of stats. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of uh, Magic the Gathering with the back being done. But instead of having like half artwork, half, half, uh, uh, description of what the card benefits are you have the full backside as uh, what the benefits are and then you have the image on the front very nice and then of course we have here check that out very nice and uh, Rainy you're gonna beat the hell out of me and I'm sorry but it's gonna be Yinv of Alstad. So, okay. So, I've got cards. Put those with the Wrecked Planet cards because I haven't had a chance to put the Wrecked Planet cards away yet. And then, of course, we have the book. Fiendish 2. Very beautiful color cover. Um, very nice. This is, uh, let's see here. Not, oh, it's not signed. Now, I'm glad it's not signed. Because here's the thing. I personally, I like getting my stuff signed in person. Okay. Um, there's one thing to get a book and it arrives signed. And it's a nice thank you. Personally, I want it not to be signed. I want to meet you at a convention. Okay? I want to I, I, I see Rini. And I want to place this in front of her and thank her for producing this book. I know she's going to thank me for backing. But it helps with that extra thank you to the creator that you're like, here is the book. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the what 
your characters were doing at this part of the arc or this part. I liked how you, uh, like the very first book, I loved how they had the city on the very, this city on the very edge of this cliff looking over the vast mountains. I thought that was beautifully rendered and I would definitely want to open it up and point that out to her. So, <clears throat> guys, it, I'm, 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 I'm torn, okay? I mean, it's like, I've got two books. I actually no. I I got more than two books. I've got Fiendish. I've got Wreck Planet. I've got Death Sting. I've got Heartstick Horror. I mean, I, man, look at all these books I gotta sell. I, all these books I gotta read now. Oh my goodness. And and the worst is, of course, it's Saturday. What happens at Saturday at 7? The chat. <clears throat> Which means... Unfortunately, I'm not going to have... I'm not going to have all these books read by the time the chat uh, goes on the air. So it's really going to come down to... Um, which book do I read first? So I can at least have one read when the chat starts. Which will be at 7... The channel is under Danger Vanessa. Uh, I hope that you will all join in and uh, keep on backing books. Keep on supporting these creators because uh, we are the ones that are making this happen for these creators. So that's where it's so important for us to show our support with videos like these, unboxing it, showing people, hey, I backed it. I backed it. Someone else maybe may have gotten it off of eBay or Amazon or from Rini's website. <clears throat> They're probably only going to get the book. I backed it as a backer when it was on demand or when it was in campaign mode. And because of that, I'm being rewarded with these extra goodies. And if you missed out, I hope that you will partake on this journey when the next chapter of Fiendish begins. Because you are going to be very fortunate to take part in that journey. You will enjoy it and you will benefit from it and you'll get all the goodies. So, hey, I'll see you guys at seven. Remember, life is stressful. That's why you just take it all one dot at a time.